Watching a sinkhole at the Rapidan Dam in Minnesota was no more a nightmare. Yes, it's a reality resulting in displacement of hundreds of local residents. This episode highlights a critical issue we've known about for years. Thousands of dams in America are in such poor condition that they risk collapse. Now this is not something I could have easily said, it's an alarming situation. You know that the United States is home to roughly 90,000 significant dams? Over 4,000 of these dams are in poor or unsatisfactory condition, posing serious risk. When I say serious, it's really serious like a major flooding could wreak havoc. Maintaining these aging giants with an average age of around 60 years is a costly endeavor. Resources are often limited, making the task even tougher. Take the Rapidan Dam in Blue Earth County, Minnesota, for example. Built in 1910, this hydroelectric dam was severely damaged by recent floods. Although it's no longer producing power due to past flood damages, the county has been grappling with whether to spend $15 million on repairs or a staggering $82 million to remove it. A federal inspection in May didn't flag major problems, but flood debris clogged the dam, causing the river to carve a new path around it. Fortunately, this wasn't linked to its repair needs. In Texas, recent floods damaged the spillway of the Lake Livingston Dam, which holds drinking water for Houston. In deep east Texas, crews are working around the clock to repair the Lake Livingston Dam. It was damaged by catastrophic flooding, forcing officials to declare a potential failure watch. Officials reassured the public that the dam isn't in immediate danger of failing. However, as climate change brings more intense storms, the pressure on these structures only increases. Most dams are safe, but failures, though rare, can be catastrophic. Remember the 2017 Oroville Dam Crisis in California? The Oroville Dam are expected to hit record levels. Right now, water continues to gush over this damaged spillway. Nearly 190,000 people had to evacuate due to spillway damage from heavy rain, or the 2020 Edenville Dam breach in Michigan, which led to another dam's failure downstream. Engineers who investigated these incidents highlight that many dams weren't originally designed to withstand today's extreme weather. But what has just happened that has aggravated the situation? Yes, the climate change. Extreme weather intensified by climate change is worsening the problem. The outlook is not good this year, the ocean temperature is very high, there are more hurricanes, there is more heavy rainfall, so you also have to see if the criteria still meet the current extreme climate conditions. Repairing all these dams isn't cheap. The Association of State Dam Safety Officials estimates it would cost $150 billion to make all the dams safe again. But the U.S. government has allocated just $3 billion in its $1 trillion infrastructure master plan. As per surveys and reports, it is known that Americans accept late maintenance because they pay less in taxes. Americans are good at helping when there is a disaster, but they don't want to give money to prevent a potential disaster. But it's not all doom and gloom. According to experts, not all dams need immediate action. It is about the dams that are most at risk and most impactful if they collapse. These are known. Experts and engineers are working hard to try to fix them. Big cities like New York are well protected. New York's water supply comes from the Catskill Mountains, a forested area in northern New York with large reservoirs. The dams there are constantly monitored and adhere to the highest safety requirements. So, what's the takeaway here? Our nation's dams are aging and in desperate need of attention. It's up to us, engineers, builders, and concerned citizens, to push for the resources and regulations needed to keep these structures safe. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe for more vital updates. Together, we can ensure our dams stand strong for generations to come. See you next time.